hi there, it's Stephanie. Um, Tom had uh, done a screener yesterday regarding the uh, various different formats for picture frames and that was fed off some inf inspiration he got by watching Tracy's screener regarding the miter lines on picture frames. And as I was watching both Tracy's and Tom's screeners, I was kind of gazing up at the fish on the wall because there literally is a fish on the wall uh, for my home office here. And uh, looking at that fish in the wall, and you can see, uh, I've taken a picture of it for you, you can see that there is a picture frame around this fish. It has the, the darker outer frame with the drawn-in miter lines, um, a, a lighter mat, or a darker mat, a lighter inside mat, and then a shadow under that mat. And I painted that on the wall, uh, and it's just a completely uh, flat uh, uh, flat paint, so it's an illusion of creating depth and uh, uh, anything to make that fish look better. But anyway, so that's my inspiration, and uh, so I wanted to show you a couple of things in PowerPoint. I probably will only be able to get through one example here um, in the five minute time, but here's the example. Um, it doesn't have the miter frames that Tracy was was talking about, but uh, or the miter lines, but uh, it is still a very cool effect where the actual picture is overflowing into the outside frame. So to create this, uh, all you have to do is just pick a colorful picture. You, you don't want uh, too dark of a picture. You can kind of see if it's too dark, you're not really going to get that cool effect. So here's another sunset kind of picture that was taken in Mexico last year. A um, little big, so let's take it down to about three inches. And it comes in. And now we're just going to make this one grayscale. Basically, we're going to create the first image. There's two images associated here. The first one is a grayscale. So we're just going to go up to the upper left corner, choose the grayscale option for the recolor, and you can see that it actually colors it quite deeply. It's a very dark grayscale, which is not what I'm trying to achieve here. I really want a nice, con subtle contrast, or soft contrast, I guess. So right click, choose format picture, and then in the picture tab, uh, let's adjust the brightness up to about 55%. And I'm just looking at it over here. And I'm going to take that contrast down to about minus 70. It's, it's fairly extreme, but it will create that subtle effect that I'm looking for. And you can see it's very close. Every picture, depending on its coloring, is going to behave differently. So you have to piddle with those values a bit. Now let's copy this. So Control C, Control V. And we're going to make this the color outer frame. Uh, first step is go up to the uh, format menu, um, picture shape. And we want to change the shape from a rectangle to a frame, which creates that hollow transparent effect. You can see that right away. We don't want this to be grayscale, so we're going to go in the upper left, recolor, and just say no color. And that brings it back to its original. Now, in addition, we're going to add a couple of effects just to give it a little bit more dimension. Uh, so let's go right-click, uh, Format Picture. Under 3D Format, under the top option here, let's change it, uh, change it from No Bevel to the Circle Bevel. And six point for both width and height is perfect. And now let's, and you can kind of see this happening right as we're doing it. Um, shadow, let's use one of the preset options. Uh, we'll do an outer offset bottom and then we're going to play with this a little bit just to give it a bit more of an extreme look um, so we're going to increase the blur up to 30 point and we want to take the distance out quite a bit so about 18 point and there that looks pretty cool close out of that and then the final step is just aligning the two so that one's selected just select the other option or object and then choose a line Align selected objects, and not align to slide, you want the selected op um, objects. And then say align center, and then align middle. And there it is. And at this point you could group, group those two images. You could probably export it out as a picture if you'd like. But that's the, that's the essence, and that's how you can create that kind of cool effect on picture frames. And I have one other effect I'd like to show you, so I'm just going to do a part two on this screener.